So that's why I'd like to move on to it. So God created all of these images of herself. You could call them little souls, little baby souls, right? Every one of them have masculine and feminine qualities. Not in even proportion, though. Now, at that stage, and by the way, at one stage in your pre-existence here on Earth, you were in that state. Who of you remembers it? I don't either, by the way. <laughs> So before my first incarnation, and before your first incarnation, you did not remember that state. Because you don't do, you can't connect with that state now. I had, I had a vision of it in a, in a meditation, and I never understood it from now. Yeah, yeah. It's a, quite often spirits who are with you will give you meditation type experiences, explaining to you your, you, your pre-existence. Yeah. Is this the pre-existence? Is this also the existence between? Uh, no. It's only the once. It's only the once. The very first time. The very first time. The very first time. The reason why you don't have any consciousness of it uh, is because you are yet to understand quite a number of things that God has created within you. The first thing is you, that you have no memories. Right? So there's no memories at that point. You are also not even conscious at that point of your own existence. Who of you were conscious of that point in your own existence? You're not, are you? So, obviously, we were never conscious of that point. So, we had no consciousness. Of self. You follow me? We did not know who we were yet because we didn't even know we were alive yet. We had not yet experienced anything. Does that make sense to you? Yep. But not everybody's, not, not everybody's there at once, are they? Like, and are they? there was a time historically where billions and billions and billions, in fact, un, you know, almost an infinite number of souls, was in that state. So does that mean there's still ones that haven't yet? Gone yes, certainly. There are still ones in this area of the universe that have yet to actually have any experience or any consciousness of their own experience. When you get to the 21st, to, to the 22nd sphere of the spirit world, you will actually see them. You can actually see them in this state. You've seen them? Yes. And how many are there? Still, there are, there are oh, I can't count them. Uh, and by the way, you can count pretty well when you're in the 22nd sphere. <laughs> uh, so there, there, is, there are billions and billions and billions of souls. Uh, and an infinite number of souls. And, and there is, no one's really still aware of whether they are still being created or not. Because they don't only populate Earth, they populate other planets prepared for, for the incarnation of man as well. So it's not just, incarnation doesn't occur just here on Earth. There are other planets in the material universe that incarnation occurs onto. And all these souls are there. So is that um, like humans in this form going to other planets? Or? And the soul is not in a human form for a start. And however, the, the human form on each one of these worlds is identical in nature. <coughs> but the soul itself is not human in the sense that it's not a human form. It's not something you can physically see. You only begin to see it through your soul perception. <coughs> now, I'm going to say something else that's going to challenge you at that point. They have no... No free will at that point. Now... The reason why I'm saying that is because they are not conscious of self. So if you're not conscious of self, how can you know what to choose? You can't, can you? Isn't 
choosing something dependent upon you being conscious that there is a choice. So, but baby doesn't choose either, does he? Um, in what way? You mean choose to incarnate into a mother? Well, or choose? Baby reacts. Uh, no, from choose. the from the moment of incarnation, you are making choices, and the incarnation doesn't occur just at birth; it occurs at, soon after conception. Right? So you're making choices from that moment. From the soul. At the soul, soul level. Self. Yeah, the soul level. The soul is absorbing emotions from that time of incarnation onwards, and we'll talk about why in a minute. So you can think of all of these as all these blank souls, right? You get that? The souls, they have personality, by the way, so they do have personality. And certainly have individuality, but they are not yet individualized. Do you understand the difference? Mm 